National Assembly Speaker Moon Hee-sang suggested a new idea that can possibly mend South Korea-Japan conflicts, which have continued from July. Moon unveiled an idea to resolve Japan's wartime forced labor issue by proposing a bill to create a foundation that can be funded by companies, governments and citizens of South Korea and Japan. The revealed bill is expected to accumulate 300 billion won, which is 255 million U.S. dollars, in total compensation to approximately 1,500 victims of Japan's forced labor during the 1910 to 1945 colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. Under the proposal, an envisioned foundation will responsibly compensate for victims of Japan's wartime forced labor and sex enslavement. Moon's idea seemed to be sculpted off of Germany's compensation for forced labor during World War II as well. Germany had set up a foundation to pay back laborers with contribution by the federal government and some 6,000 companies. As of now, parliament officials introduced a draft of the new bill to the victims of forced labor on Monday. However, it is not known yet whether these forced labor victims will accept Moon's proposal. In the meanwhile, Moon's idea came amid expectations that Seoul and Tokyo will now work together to resolve their five-month-long diplomatic spat. Japan had reacted angrily to the South Korean Supreme Court's 2018 rulings that ordered Japanese firms to compensate Korean forced labor victims. Japan had rebuked Koreans' rulings, claimed that all reparation issues related to Japan's 1910-45 colonization of Korea was settled in a 1965 state-to-state -state accord. In response, Japan ridded South Korea of its white list of trusted trading partners, sparking a trade war between the two countries. South Korea even held nationwide boycotts against Japanese products and services. Out of many products, Japan's national beer exports experienced the most damage, as 99.9% .9 of its exports plummeted compared to last year. Additionally, Seoul had pledged to withdraw from the military information agreement with Japan, Jisomia, that brought not only the two countries together, but also its strategic partner, the U.S., asking for the quick remedy of their diplomatic relations. It was after South Korea decided last week to conditionally suspend the termination of its military intelligence sharing pact with Japan, where the two countries seem to be back on negotiation terms.